Hi, I'm Jeff from Better Living Outdoors, and today I'd like to talk to you about our Tuscany hot tub. The Tuscany tends to be our go-to spa if your access is a little bit limited, as it's a little shallower than some of the other models in our range. So at 80 centimetres tall, when we're bringing this spa into your property on its side, we're looking for a minimum width of 84 centimetres, which makes it a little bit more compact than some of the other models. To compensate for that reduced height, he's a little bit bigger than some of the other models in the range at 2.23 metres, so that's quite a good footprint, and that means there's plenty of internal space within the hot tub. So let's have a closer look inside. At the front we've got the lounger, so there's a nice big lounger here at the front and then we've got the traditional horseshoe of seats around the rear of the hot tub. The Tuscan is equipped with 28 jets and that's a good balance for the three horsepower massage pump inside the spa. The Tuscany can be configured either for 13 amp use, which is how it comes out of the box, or we can reconfigure it for 32 amp use. So basically the differences are, if you're running 13 amp, the massage pump on high speed, you can't have the 2 kilowatt heater running in tandem with it. If you can set it up for 32 amp use, then we can change the setup so you can have the heater and the massage pump on high speed. So a little bit more important if you're using all year round, particularly the winter months when it's a little bit chillier. So let's show you how this runs. So as with most of our spas, we've got valve controls on here. This is the new TP500 panel. So if I hit the jets button, the once, this turns him on to low speed. So it's a two speed pump, as I say. Low speed is typically used for heating, so when the heaters run in, the spa is going to run on low speed. So if you do get your new spa and it's heating up overnight, your pump is going to run through the night to get the spa up to temperature. So this is quite normal, don't be panicked by that. And then if we press the massage pump button again, so let's go back down to jets. That takes him up onto high speed. So this is now the 3 horsepower pump running through all 28 jets. So at the moment we're just moving water about, but we do have air venturis on this hot tub and we also have a diverter which allows us to move the water around the spa a little bit more. So first thing first, we'll just have a quick walk around and I'm going to turn the air control on for the front seats in the hot tub. So what you should see then and here is a little bit more of a rush coming from the jets. And basically we've got some more power coming through those seats at the front of the hot tub. Second uh, one we'll do is this one at the back here and that's going to turn the air into the jets at the rear of the hot tub. So now we're running all the air controls open with the pump on share between all six seats in the hot tub. So over here on the right hand side I have the diverter. So first things first I'm going to turn the back jets off in the tub and put all the power through to the front. So now we've got the lounger and the two adjacent chairs running with all the massage power coming through it. Conversely you can rotate this to the back of the hot tub that will then turn off the jets at the front and now we've got some more power coming through these three seats at the back of the hot tub so it is a little bit of a share effect but it's, it's what we need to do with this spot in addition to the diverter and i'll just set that back in the middle we do have some waterfall features on this hot tub so over by the filter housing there's two little jets there if i open up the waterfall valve that's over at the back here that one nice and jet into the middle and then in front of the control panel there where you can see the lighting, that's a blade waterfall which is controlled by the control over there by the uh, lounger and unfortunately I can't reach it from here so we will be turning that on at the moment. Um, in addition we've got Bluetooth music on the Tuscany so either side of the filter housing there we've got the two Bluetooth speakers and it's literally a case of pairing your phone or tablet and streaming your music through it. This particular Tuscany model is finished in the Midnight Opal or the black colour and it comes with the black cabinet on the outside. The other colour scheme is sterling silver with a grey cabinet, not dissimilar to the Fiji that sat behind it at the moment. If you'd like to know any more information about our Tuscany hot tub, please get in touch. Uh, easiest thing to do is probably have a look on the website, www.betterlivingoutdoors.com. I've been Jeff, thanks for watching.